Exposition. I didn't actually have any Zombrex. What's up, sweet cheeks? Why is this so goddamn quiet? Chuck, this is I have to turn my volume up uncomfortably loud. P.S.P. Hell yeah! A map. And now I can play. Oh, glorious day. Uh, do I need anything here? Nope. I'm gonna save. We're gonna do this right. Finally. God damn, that was like, what, 15 minutes of cutscenes or something? Ridiculous. Shouldn't be that bad from now on. Oh, how I wish to skip this. This is how we will enter back into Fortune City from the safe room. Because everyone knows zombies aren't smart enough to use the air ducts. That's just one of the higher brain functions. Loading, come on! God damn, anyway. Okay. Here's the real game. Yes, I can attack. Great. That means we've officially started. Alright, we gotta go to the pharmacy, but first, uh, normally you can't enter the maintenance room this early, but uh, you get a special keycard not too long from now that lets you do that. Maintenance rooms are plastered all over the city, they're this uh, wrench icon. Speaking of the city, it's pretty goddamn big. I mean, the map may not look like it, but, uh, well, you'll see shortly enough. Um, a lot of the items in this game have a little wrench icon, which means you can combine them when you put two of them on this table. Let's just skip that. Nails plus baseball bat equal nail bat. That's the first one you'll get. And by first one, I mean combo card. These are little cards that let you know different items that you can put together to make combo weapons. Um... Here's an even better one than the nail bat that you probably won't find out for a while if you're just starting the game. Sledgehammer plus axe. 
will make the Defiler. This is a great starting weapon, especially if you've got both a nail bat and a Defiler. Um, I have an extra baseball bat, I don't need that. I've got a flashlight, clearly, you can see that. Oh god, slow down. Well, uh, here we are. Right inside. Oh god, why is it slowing down so bad? This is terrible! Uh, but yep, we're in the mall. This is, this is the game, and it feels so good to be starting it out. Finally. I wonder if it's just gotta load all the zombies or something. This is bad. This is 14 frames a second bad. But, uh, here's some tips and tricks before we get immediately on our way. Uh, every weapon in the game has a light attack and a strong attack if you hold down the attack button. Usually these strong attacks get you more PPs, but they also take quite a bit longer. Um, Speaking of PPs, I hope I can do this in a timely manner. Oh god, the slowdown is terrible. See this big craps table and these giant die? If you roll a 4 and a 3, you get a ton of PP. That rhymes and it's sexual innuendo. Har har. God damn it. This is, this is just not gonna go my way. This is going to be five minutes of me throwing a friggin' big fuzzy dice. Or a big fizzy deuce. I need to get a three, man. Alright. This next one is my last throw. You get like, uh, 10,000 prestige points, which is a lot. And that's pretty close to a level up, especially if you're about to start. But since it didn't do it, I can't show it to you. That's the rule. Whenever you try to show somebody something, it just doesn't work. Ugh. And again, you wouldn't normally be able to go into a maintenance room this early, but I have got the key already, and whenever you start a new game, you get to keep everything that you had before, pretty much. And in this maintenance room, we've got a spear and a power drill. Which makes a spear drill. Also, drill and bucket creates the most useless item in the game. The drill bucket. It's useless because it's one-time use. You put it on somebody's head, it kills them, it falls off. That doesn't sound whoop, that doesn't sound completely useless, but when you're surrounded by zombies, it's totally useless. But it gets you a fair bit of PP whenever you use it. This drill arm, however, is friggin' awesome. Oh, right, I forgot one thing. Quick side trip before we get to the pharmacy. I'm gonna pick up some gems and emeralds. <laughs> Break glass with gems to get it gems. It's brilliant. That jumping kick I just did, and did again just now, isn't immediately available to you. You have to level up a few times to get it. Uh, I will take this paint can. And I will drop nail bat. Because I want to show you one other thing you can do here. So this is the pharmacy. where looters are looting. That's what they're there for. I forgot to take off the fedora. Oh well. Oh, you're cute. I bet you do real well with the ladies.
I ain't your grandpa. I bet you guys didn't know I had drill arm!